hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so how do you like my new shirt I got a new shirt Hawaii kind of look right anyways today we're going to be talking about Pinterest and how do you get rid of that may lead to spam pop-up if you click on your uh if they decide to block your site they basically blacklist it so that means you can't create a pin with your site you can't share your site as a pin as a pin you can't put it in your description none of that works you get an error saying I wish it's saying that your pin your that address was blocked that that url is blocked because it may lead to spam and it's not even it leads to spam it's it may lead to spam so when anybody ever clicks on your site and they try to click on one of your pins and they click that it pops up something that shows it is this is blocked by the way I can't go there you can't go there because it may lead to spam and it's like oh my god it's the it's the death of a marketer's you know site it's like that's the worst that could possibly happen right so we're going to show you how I got that fixed and how you can get that fixed too and we're going to do that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you have your site blocked and it's you've tried a few things and nothing seems to be working they're still blocking your site you can't post any new, new pins from your blog and it totally sucks I get it I mean I was there and I was like what what am I going to do how am I going to get this fixed there's no sense in using Pinterest if I can't have people go to my blog from it right so this is what I did and let me just show you a little bit more first before we do that let me just show you a little bit about what the current situation is so right now I'm at 117,000 monthly viewers and you know what before then I was actually like so this is what I'm talking about right when you click on something it'll say sorry we blocked this link because it may lead to spam and then there's a learn more and then it goes gives you the actual url and then you the only thing you can do is click okay so if somebody tries to click on one of your pins that's what they're going to get that is not fun at all to have this happen right so the other thing I kind of wanted to show you is if I go back to here just show you a little bit of these other uh pictures I have let me just make this into large icons so I basically just didn't been doing screenshots is that the old one is that it here yeah look at that I had two monthly viewers <laughs> I had two and you know now it's been growing obviously 86k um I've gotten uh, my video pins this week uh got 31,000 views 1,725 and six saves in the last seven days that was uh, I guess that would have been where's the date on that that would have been the fourth so that's last week uh I was at 86,000 monthly viewers instead of four right four or five which means an increase of you know over a hundred thousand anyways we can show you that these are just screenshots from my phone but 88k um then on the what's that that's the third that actually we're going back in time here that was on the third no no it wasn't on the third. that was the fifth no we're going forward okay so and um 112,000 that was two days ago three days ago and now uh I don't know if I did a screenshot oh yeah so this is yeah so this is okay let me just go back now because that's what I did to get it uh fixed so first of all I was not able if I was if I wanted to create a pin I would go say if I click on uh go to this board let's say this board here I want to create a new a new a new board I would just click on the plus right here you can actually do it from here click pin or you can click on the create up here get a pin anyways the thing that would happen is if I was going to try to create a new pin right and then in the description I would say I'm this is this is a test for for a, a video uh c -T -T, well cis let's actually just do that see cis 198.js kind of because I I don't know this 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 domain was blocked a couple days back I haven't you tried it again but this is a test 
before video and then I'm just going to put a image here let's say I go to because I'm oh, 198 sure this one here let's uh, let's put a gif I don't know they support gifs on the Pinterest mm -hmm. oh they do well I don't know if they do but anyways it's it's there if I course incomes yeah so let's just publish this see what happens this is taking a long time isn't it ah there we go there's exactly what happens look at that sorry we blocked this description because it contains a link that may lead to inappropriate content so you might get that that's one of the other messages you're going to get if you if I take that out of there and I put it down here and then I try to publish it it's going to tell me the same thing it won't let me publish but it'll I think the message might be different well it would be because it's not in the description um so sorry we blocked this link because it may lead to spam I'm actually going to do a screenshot of this because I actually want to to capture this as a I'm going to save that and here so lead uh, link may lead to spam I just want to save that because I want to be able to and then if I draw let's let's do this again put it in here put it back in here publish again I just want to see that message and I, I'm actually going to save that uh as so just to kind of show you what I'm talking about right what happens if you're if you're if your site is blocked you won't even be, be able to create pins from your site it'll give you these message errors right so the reason it takes so long is because actually it's checking your description it's checking things to make sure that now I'm guessing that if I do this too much it won't be too good <laughs> for my account so I, I don't want to do this again but I'll I just want to show you what it uh, does um and you know that's the thing so whenever you're trying to uh, post you're getting this error right so there we go let's uh, screenshot that again and let's do this right there save that yeah blocked link in description okay so now I have the screenshots and I wanted to show you what it looked like when you had a block site what did I do right first of all I did a search on Google I did I just searched for Pinterest I don't know if I, I'll find that again um, um site blocked spam let's just see if that shows up the list of things I searched for before I actually found spam on I'm trying to see, I wonder if the site site marked as spam yeah that's the one I think yeah so this one here this blog post I actually found which is from a while ago that's from 2018 I think it was is there a date on here someplace or oh, the comments have dates but this was like if I go down to the bottom it talks about well these are all the comments there's a bunch of comments oh let's scroll back down there okay I just want to show you what I found so on this site she's talking about what she did and that was a while ago so I actually kind of tried to do this I was like oh there's a it says right here update the best email as of May 2019 is creators support at pinterest.com right so what I did is I actually sent an email to I sent an email to that address and that address is not good anymore by the way so what I what happened when I did that do I have a screenshot I think I have a screenshot in here of that let me just go get that over here these are all just a bunch of videos this one here suspended email is that the one I think that might be the one oh no that's different yeah so actually by the way this was an account suspension I when I started uh, reusing my Pinterest I've been using Pinterest for years now for four or five years I've been using Pinterest daily I've been sharing things on it I've been pinning things on it I've been using it I've been posting things but I was not getting it as you saw I was getting like four or five people monthly to uh to see my content right so I started and this was is there a date on there well I guess I should have yeah that's from uh that's from but uh two weeks ago um but let me see what else there's an email heads up there it is I think it's this one oh, yeah yeah exactly we wanted to let you know we've blocked your website on Pinterest because of some activity that goes against our spam policies 
which you know obviously is not true but whatever however that happened I don't even know how that happens but this is you might get this email right and then you can click on this let us know thing which will which will uh do show take you to a page where it'll just do that it'll just show you thanks for your appeal and that's it right then uh this is this is blocked let me see I just want to see if I have I should have probably account has been since now my account was suspended I just want to see if I have any I thought I took a screenshot of the email I got no I don't have I don't I th maybe it's in the other folder maybe in this folder I, I should have been more organized I guess but Mm -mm, right here oh there you go okay so after I sent that appeal thing I got this email isn't that great after careful review we decided not to unblock your website because it violates our spam policy oh my god I'm a marketer and I'm spamming I'm so awful and they people won't be glad uh, able to link pins to the site or save pins from it which is death of a marketer right and that's maybe you're there maybe that's what you've what happened to you right <coughs> but is there anything else this just to test these are just the ones I just did now uh here's another email okay yeah so that's the email I sent I sent this email where is it right here I sent this email to this address right I sent uh I've been using pinning my post and whatever I sent all this this is my site and then I just got this can I not I just got this message here saying thanks for contacting us at Pinterest we've retired its email so you got to click on this link okay so you go to help.pinterest.com slash contact and then I filled in this stuff and this is basically what it does it takes you to this what you want to do is um let me see did, did I have oh I got to start here so it takes you to this it takes you to this which is get more help and then basically I I put in Pinterest block my site right and then the next option is I can't create pins on my site so this is what you got to this so this is the process I went through by the way after I got an email saying they're not going to unblock my site I still did this I still did this and the reason why I did this is because my experience with other social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn is that whenever something happens on your account like blocking you or causing you uh losing an account or things like that it's always happening using some sort of automation right they have automation and they have this community supporting the platform right so in other words if you have somebody who's who decided to mark your thing as spam then that's how the platform knows oh this person just posted something that somebody else thought was spam right it doesn't mean that it is spam it just means that other person you know called it spam right so I'm not sure depending on the platform it could be just one person that does that that's enough to block your your site or it could be 10 or 100 or whatever the number is there's a there's a number where the robot if you will the automation will make a decision to do the to block your site for example right in the case of Pinterest so that's why and then and then the thing is that when you when you send an appeal or you ask for some somebody to look usually it's it's well not usually it is well maybe there is a robot there too but at some point there's a human that looks at your request and then looks at your site and then makes a decision whether they unblock it or not right but it could also but the thing is that if it's a human that's doing that decision they can make the decision they want they don't have to unblock your site but the thing to remember is that every time you send a new request it go, it gets added to the thousands of the requests they get every single hour right and somebody randomly takes your request and looks at it right so if you send it once it doesn't you, that's not enough you got to send it until <laughs> until somebody uh, who's actually going to take the time to look and to consider exactly your thing so you might get somebody who doesn't even look at your site and just says no we're not going to block it it'll at least spam just because they look and they you know they don't like their job maybe or whatever right 
I'm not saying that that's the case but that's certainly going to happen right so that's why I did even though I got in a reply saying that my my site will not be unblocked I sent out this like this so I went to get more help I clicked on Pinterest block my site then I clicked the next option was I can't create pins with my site on Pinterest there's other options but that's the one I just picked and then of course it asked you for your name whoops your name and your username and all that your email address the next one is it asks you to describe the issue so I just put removing and then my domain from blacklist I that's all I did just removing I, that's what I put in the subject and then I put a description that was really basic I just said I got a notice I, I guess we can't see the whole thing here but I just said I got a notice on my domain my site is a blog and I have no idea what it would be considered spam so you gotta you certainly don't want to act as if you did anything wrong you want to let them know that pff, you don't know what's going on why this happened and that's it and then of course you put the domain there and then you say is this a public or secret board of course it should be a public board have you tried to create a pin you say new pin and then you just leave the rest empty right you don't put a pin because it's a new pin so there would be no pin link to put in there and then it just gives you a uh link you know whatever options to read other stuff but just click on the continue on there and then you finally get this uh this email actually this afterwards do I have an email here I did not screenshot the email I got okay so after you finish that you'll get an email saying you received they received a, a, an email from you let me just go back in here search for Pinterest in my actual inbox and see if I get that uh Pinterest is there a Pinterest new request and someone on our team can you please double check spam notice my domain so actually I sent out a few requests I did that more than once right and if I look at this this is help at Pinterest let's search for help at Pinterest that will be better help at Pinterest wasn't it that's not it help why is it not I just want to show the emails from welcome to Pinterest action needed pin bot at reply these are just my I'm getting these at pinterest.com okay Pinterest growing life hacks creators remove that on blacklist uh we ran we tied that email it's not I'm, I'm just trying to find the actual emails from when I sent that out because I know they were there if I just do the Pinterest again Uh, action needed for the ourselves remove blacklist uh, blacklist there it is is that it it's not it uh -uh. my pins are blocked I think this is the one that I'll say may lead to spam so I mean I sent lots of different requests different things but what but and the thing is that right now what happened is I actually did not get a, an email saying that my site was no longer blocked right so I actually did not get an email saying it was no longer blocked all of a sudden my I, I was able to start saving like if I save Jean Serge Gagnon.com right now that's going to work if I put that in there johnsergagnon.com instead of jsgagnon which is my secondary domain this should this should work now because that domain is now unblocked but it was doing the exact same thing that you just saw just now before uh, and now it's saying it's it's there so if I see it if I go to it and I look at it see it now you can see that it's got I didn't know you could put gifts I guess I'll have to I'll have to start posting gifts see if that works but this is test for video this is test for video and and then there's the link right here and I cl click on that and it actually goes to my blog right that's the idea you want people to be able to click 
on your links to go to your blog right so we'll just close that but that's so that's the thing so if you so how do you get that like I said so what I did is I actually went in and here's the other thing so if I go to over here I get 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 help right so this is the process you go through on the computer you would do this right first of all you would say uh I don't know at the bottom no send this no if I go in here I say uh log in an account I go say fix a problem missing pins remove not receiving emails stopping to see more okay I'm just going to click on see more over here and I'm going to say pins and boards missing pins uh, limits for pins I don't know what that is but if I click on that okay so now you go through a few things and then eventually you get to this still need help where you can click on contact us right now so you click on that and then you're going to go back into here you're going to say features and settings I think it is pins just pins continue and can't save right here something continue and then you put your name right Jean-Serge so I'm actually going to do it right now for my secondary domain I did it already but I'm going to do it again and my node success with js is my Pinterest uh, account jeanserge.gmail.com right so I'm going to do that like this continue on here I'm going to say uh please uh please unblock on un please remove jsgagnon.com from blacklist and then I'm just gonna say hi no idea how this happened but I can no longer whoops I can no longer save any pins with my blog jsgagnon.com it's it's a blog there is there is no spam there you go okay thanks there you go that's it I'm just saying this like this right uh, no idea how this happened but I can no longer save any pins with my blog jsgagnon.com it's a blog there is no spam right and that's just basically simple I just click on new pin right here and then I click on uh, continue I should probably maybe I should do some screenshots of this stuff right just to make sure but anyways I got the video I can always come back to the video and do screenshots of the video right all right so that's uh, and then you go down you click on the continue right here and then it just asks you what device you're using I, that doesn't really matter for this issue and I, I'm going to say no there's no error message because if they if I say yes there's an error message and I have to kind of say what the error is which is a normal error they're they're the, it's not really an error it's not like there's a there's a anyways it's not an error it's just the default their site may lead to spam right and then uh, it asks you to take a screenshot if you need one I'm not going to do that because that's standard as well I'm going to click on continue and then finally it asks me if everything looks right please submit so now the thing is that even though I submitted this yesterday or the day before for this secondary domain now I get this right thanks we'll be in touch and then if you don't see uh, our email check your spam folder right that's because they actually send you an email saying hey we got your request I don't know if we can see it right away let's, uh, let's go back here and refresh there it is please remove from blacklist so this is the email I just sent just now of course it gives you you know make sure you clear a clash to do all this stuff whatever um if none of these steps help and you want to talk to a human reply to this email oh that's new I, I haven't seen that so I'm gonna actually do that with well, let's let's reply so hi my black set was blocked for some unknown reason it's there's there's no spam there is no spam no spam there it's just a blog with daily daily tips daily tips please remove whoops I'm gonna do that again please remove remove whoops please remove jsgagnon.com from 
blacklist thanks so I'm going to do that again because I I didn't know I, I don't think I saw that before if none of these steps help you and you want to talk to a human reply to this email right so we're going to do that we're going to reply I'm going to send this like this and now they I don't know if that makes a difference but uh there you go so now if I go back to here um I'm not sure if I get a reply to that or not but but anyways yeah so okay so that's that let's go back to here to this other browser right here okay so um and like you know you're seeing this this is all new to me I've been using Pinterest like I said forever but this is you know it's totally insane let's go back here oh actually let me just show you analytics over here it's really ridiculous the change and if you're not if you're thinking oh this is just normal I look at that just last you know just I was at zero 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 right I don't know if there's a way to see the date range can I change the date range to before I don't know I don't think so but anyways look at that look a 33k here 29k here uh 22k here 14k here to 4k here and the thing is that and look at that almost almost two million percent increase and that's because you know I had five or something right so obviously next month whenever this starts to roll over this percentage is going to be either nothing or lower right but that's still totally insane the kind of the kind of results and I I even spent a few money a few bucks on ads and let's I'm not curious here there's also audiences that you can set up I set up here I'm wondering if that's uh, just showing 200 I'm, oh it's still initializing so it's not updated yet but in my ads I mean I created and I just spent just a few bucks right look 66 dollars in a month not even a month that's well so that means maybe I'll have spent a hundred dollars in the month right but look at that getting 385 link clicks hopefully there are clicks that actually did something but in the in the during the week that my site was blocked I'm not sure if they counted those as clicks anyways even though it pops up a you know this is a site that may lead to spam right uh so maybe they do that I'm not sure link click in the last there's seven percent less 22 I'll spend less impressions so but yeah so that's basically how you get your site unblocked for me I basically I, I didn't get an email after I put those in for that other domain my main domain johnsergegangler.com which was blocked I actually got no email saying it got unblocked unless it's in my spam let's just well no this is this is showing all the mail anyways it's not in there uh, there's no there's no email that came that said it's unblocked so they just decided to unblock it or maybe maybe they block it for seven days or something and then unblocks automatically but I don't think so because I, I know lots of people that are posting that they got blocked like just this 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 page I was on um this this page here talked there's an awful lot of people right this is is there a date there's no date on these I thought there were dates on the comments but I posted a comment here if I go down to the bottom is my comment in there because I posted a comment saying that email was not working anymore I'm not sure oh there yeah that's right there see I got this email I got this nobody replied to it but anyways I'm just gonna say over here my site got my 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 wait my site got unblocked after sending in a few uh, a few requests through the support portal portal even though the first time they replied replied they were not going to unblock my site so keep trying oops keep trying okay I'm going to put my name here I'm going to put my email here because uh, they ask it and I think it matters change, change. 
this is pretty small text isn't it I wonder why oh, I guess it's just a small text site gmail.com and then uh, my blog is Jean -Serge just to make sure people can find me save my name sure post a comment oh I forgot there's no two p's there anyways okay so my it's a waiting moderation I guess she approved this one so that's all good and very good stuff all righty then so that's that's how you get your site unblocked all you got to do is you got it like I said before you got to go down here go up to your account up here there's a little pull down on the computer you click on the get help you uh, you click on pretty much any of these but stop you know see more and fix a problem then in pins you just say missing pins or boards and then after that uh, you click on the contact us under the still need help and then through that process you enter your name and email and you just say what the problem is right uh, this was missing pins I actually actually you need to it's probably not missing pins because missing pins is not the right one so what we want to do is let's go back here you actually want to go uh limits for you want to go limits for pins boards and follows right so that's where you want to go you want to say missing pins where's I thought so anytime you do something okay down here under features and settings you say pins and then continue and you say can't save that's what you want to say can't save then you can you put your name and email then you say please unblock my site I can't save the pins right so that's that's how you do it and then you get your site unblocked after maybe doing two three times maybe four times maybe ten times I don't know but you got to keep sending these in every day or maybe twice a day I'm not sure there's any limits I'd say I'd say you can send safely send one a day or one every two days like this until it gets unblocked because depending on who gets it they might decide to not even look at your site and just reply that they're not going to block it or they might just not even look at it or maybe it just gets added to the the list right uh, of things to look at and they just don't pick it up right until later or something but that's basically how you get your Pinterest site removed from the I can't link you know I I uh, you this this site is not let me just oh, where's my screenshots over here if I go back to this over here uh we have may lead to spam down here so yeah so if you get this if you can't we if you get this after careful review we decided not to unblock your site and then you sorry we blocked this description because it contains a link that may lead to inappropriate that's if you get that if you get this then you need to look at this video here so right so just take a look and <laughs> there you go so if you get this message in Pinterest that is what we talk about here how to get rid of that how do you get rid of that message in your Pinterest posting so you can get your site unblocked and you can access the site and it's the same thing as let's say this this video here there's another uh do I have it in here no I don't it's up in here uh actually I wanted to show you this this one right here I'm going to put that into this folder right here so that I can do that right there and then yeah so if you get this message whoops I gotta do this there this message here or whoops what's going on why, why is this not working mm -hmm. well, maybe that's the last one oh, it's not there where is it why is this image not there this one here heads up heads up sorry we blocked your site do you get this message in Pinterest if you're getting this message this is what we're going to help help you with this video here helps with this message I'm having trouble with this 
thing I just want to make sure heads up we've blocked your site and may lead to spam are you getting this message in you? anyways so the reason I'm doing this little 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 video here or a little bit of a silliness in my video right here with this is because I use this to create a gif for my blog where I have this video here showing like this so you, I can do a screenshot of the um what I'm actually trying to show you in this blog post all right so hopefully this helped and you'll get your site unblocked and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time